All right, we're gonna do a tongue piercing on Miss Renee here. Come on over here, Renee, and have a seat. I'm gonna have you sitting right over here. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna get you to tuck this in your shirt for me. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is probably the least painful piercing if it's done properly. Basically, the way it's done is we're gonna clean and mark first. Go ahead and rinse with that and spit it right back in the cup for me. So we use a little pair of forceps here to hold her tongue still, just for purposes of accuracy. Also, it makes kind of a distraction too, because you feel the, feel the forceps on there. They're just held on with a little rubber band. They're not like clamped on there or anything. You don't want to bruise somebody's tongue with these things. And then we're going to use a 14 gauge, three quarter inch barbell. There's a lot of uh, worry about damaging teeth and the like, but if it's placed properly, it shouldn't really come in contact with the person's teeth while they're eating or talking or anything like that. Sometimes people compulsively play with it anyway. And that can damage your teeth, so. But they do make acrylic balls and whatnot for people that might be prone to damaging their tongue. Okay, I'm gonna put a little mark right on the center of her tongue here. And you want it to be just a little less than an inch from the tip. Okay. So the placement of it should be a little less than an inch from the tip of her tongue. And the jewelry just goes right in between the two muscle groups, right through the little bit of sheep muscle that's on the top. Once we get these placed on there, you wanna make sure that the top and the bottom are aligned and the little opening of the forceps. Okay, now try and hold your tongue out there all the way for me. I just want you to get loose for a second. All right, I want you to take a couple nice deep breaths for me, all the way in, all the way out, nice and slow. Okay, one more real big breath, real big. Okay, and here it is. All right. The piercing is done. I just insert the jewelry right in behind it. Now I'm just gonna screw the little ball on the bottom here. And she'll be all done. Make sure the ball's on there nice and tight so she doesn't lose it. Okay. Okay? Mm hmm. Even not hurt. too bad? Mm -mm, not at all. Awesome. Yeah, generally all the nerve tissue that sends a message of pain to your brain is located around the outside edges of your tongue so that you know when you bite it. And a little, oh. bit, of a, a little bit of swelling is typical afterwards, but ice and ibuprofen will help with that. Also, eating softer foods or cutting the food into smaller, smaller pieces with a fork and placing them toward the back of your mouth. That'll help too, but you don't want to not eat. It's important for your body to be nourished and all that stuff when you're healing. Sure. Slurpees are your friend. Sucking things through a straw though can be uncomfortable, so try to avoid that. <laughs> and then uh, to take care of it, a brand new toothbrush is very important. The toothbrush that's sitting in your medicine cabinet probably isn't the most hygienic thing to clean your mouth with, so. Also, I'm going to give her a little bit of sea salt to make a little sea salt solution with it she can rinse with. Just like if you were going to have any other kind of oral surgery, I usually recommend a little bit of a sea salt rinse.